yeah. <laughs> All mean, right. Can I talk about something serious? What's that? So we have a national election tomorrow that I am. It's probably illegal in some ways for us to talk about it here. Oh. Because it is illegal for U.S. residents to bet on the election in casinos in this country. Yes. Supreme Court. They did it. They said it in 2018, I think. Did they say that in yeah. 2018? It's like, you can't, you can't do that. But you can bet on it in England. You can bet on it in any country. In all country. the cool other places. Every other country in the world you can bet on the yeah. election, I believe, where they have elections. Yeah. It'd be cool. It, I mean, if there's a dictatorship, you really want to bet on that election. Oh, that would be just good odds. But, you know, if you are so inclined... Yes. I do think that there's maybe a generational value here. Interesting. And let's put it apolitically. Okay. Because we lived through 2016, and that's where a lot of the advanced statistics were just embarrassed. Okay. They were put, they were wrong. They were disregarded. And a lot of the dialogue here this year is, oh, well, they were wrong last time. Yeah. And that's not giving statistical models the credit they deserve. Mm -hmm. Like the models have been corrected. The models have Biden with a four point lead on where Hillary was in 2016. Mm -hmm. And at this point, if you are able to find the book, it's, the Biden bet, it's between minus 170 and minus 180. Okay, but it it just, can you vote, you, so can you like vote if like, if a Biden, uh, Biden wins like certain states, can you do that or no? Is it just a full? Oh, can you bet individual? In, if you were to, it be overseas or if you were to have your action at an offshore book yeah yes those lines exist but there's actually worse worse value in a lot of those toss-up states than there are in the general election general election yeah and that is because there is there is this perception that the stats that the polling that the models yeah. don't matter and what 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 carries more weight to you the perceptions of people who saw something work once and throw it out okay. or of the work of thousands of mathematicians trying to hone something and get it correctly. And this is an opportunity to go along with the math. Yeah. And because of the perception, the Vegas map math, or in this case, the offshore math yeah. doesn't align with the math of the event at hand. Mm. Well, I think I've only gone to algebra two, so um, yeah, I'm. I let's go with the math people because they hey they landed people on the moon, so that's really good. I saw on the U.S. election the the list right here that someone's from the U.K. is betting a million pounds. And what what side did they take? They're going Biden. Exactly, and I you know what if. I'm I don't have a political party when I sit behind this desk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do think that this could be a good bet for both sides. It's an emotional equilibrium. If you're a leftist, you can take a break from giving people your pronouns, throw it out on Biden to win. Oh, and God. then if he wins, I'm gonna find you, you feel one. the same way you were all <laughs> That's a fine right there. <laughs> You're not in the nun costume today. You can't find me. Nope. Yep. Still find you. That's if easy. he wins, you feel the same way you would feel anyway. If he loses, you lose the same way you would feel anyway. And then if you're a, a Trump supporter, you can take a break from breaking into Bubba Wallace's garage to redecorate it. And, um, no. And no, that's good. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one, but I'm still going to find you. It's an asterisk. And so you could throw down on... Biden to win, and then if he wins, yeah, you you're getting a little bit back emotionally. Oh, I but if he yeah. loses, you don't care because you're able to bet on something. The numbers suggest that is, there's an advantage in one aspect of it. Yeah, and so just I it, think this is a really fun wager. It's a fun wager, but it also makes me throw up. <laughs> it's just like oh, if I get that money back from. But whatever the decision is, it's like, oh, boy. Yeah, like, but if, if Trump wins and I lose my theoretical wager, I know I'm going to just establish myself as a corporation, get a better tax rate, <laughs> I get the money back that way. It's a win-win. And there is this talk about...